Hey guys, Kate Kennedy here, and I'm going to be doing my second layout with the September hip kit. I have taken these four papers, a piece of vellum, and a piece of craft cardstock, and also a piece of white cardstock that somehow didn't make it into this first part of the video. But I have this photograph of our backyard, and I'm going to mount it. I wanted it on a craft background, but I didn't want that dark of a craft, I guess. So I just put that vellum over it to mute it down a little bit, and then I'm going to trim a little border for the picture. Um, because I intended, and you, I don't show them here, because somehow they ended up on the side of my desk. I had gone through and picked out some of the, um, ter are they Teresa Collins? Yeah, wood veneer, the ones that are shaped like um, leaves and branches and stuff because they go perfect with this, and that's why I use the craft to go with the wood veneer, and then I completely forgot to use them. They got covered up by something, and then, you know, I just got into the zone and forgot about them, so I'll save those for another layout, but they would have been perfect on this one. So I'm cutting a piece of this. It's like leaf, kind of like leaves on one side, and then it's that, what I didn't realize when I was cutting it is that it's that big floral on the other side. So I have two pieces of the same paper, but um, of course I only end up using the one. So I initially thought that I was going to use the leaf side, but it's a kind of like a more of a lime green, and the embellishments from my mind's eye, the big sheet of chipboard, the 12 by 12 sheet, is more of that kind of tealy green that you see in that floral, and it just didn't quite coordinate. So I end up, I mean, it looks great with the picture and with the blue and everything. It's just when I start embellishing it, it just doesn't quite work. So I'll end up um, switching it flipping it over and using the other side. So I kind of have my sort of an idea of the composition, but it'll evolve over the next little bit. So what I do is I just go ahead and cut all of the papers a little bit bigger than I think what I want to use. That way I have a little wiggle room to make things smaller, usually. Some I cut exactly the way that I want them, like that um, triangle paper with the gold on it, which is so cute. So I am kind of thinking I'm going to do this, and then I realize I don't have my white cardstock, so I'm going to get my white cardstock out so that I can um, really get an idea. So I do like that. I like the way that that looks. And this, is, I think, is when I realized that the other that's the other side of the leaf paper, and I'll pull out my scraps to use. Um, first, I'm going to get this awesome off, because that's what I want to use as my title, and I tried to get it out so that it still had the backing on it, and I don't know why on the chipboard they don't cut all the way through the backing. So I fussed with it for a little while and I cut all that out so you don't have to watch me do that. Um, and then I also cut out the two floral embellishments from that my mind's eye 12 by 12. This is when I realized. And as you can see, those just don't really work. So um, then I remember remembered that on the 6 by 12 pieces of chipboard, there's a bunch of floral, so I'll end up using those. So this is when I realized, hey, why don't I just flip that over? And I like the way that, that looks much better. So now I'm realizing that that black one's not going to work because there's no black in the layout. Um, it's just too, it's too harsh. So I'm going to cut a couple of strips of this paper. I'm going to cut some strips of the blue and white stripe paper, also the triangle paper, the craft, and the vellum. And you'll see what I do with them in a second. And let me tell you the names of those papers while I'm, I'm doing that in the video so that you will know. Sorry, I have to grab my kit. I put it away. So I really, really love this kit. It's really pretty. And I find I found the papers to be really easy to work with. Sometimes papers with a really high contrast are easier to work with, which is kind of different than what like what my instinct tells me. But you just have to trust Miss Kimberly. She knows what she's doing. Okay, so the blue and white stripe paper is from Echo Park Creative Agenda, and it's the one that has the gray cameras on the other side. So I'm just putting a, a, well, I'm just laying them out right now. I'm going to put uh, a bunch of strips at the bottom and then a wider strip of vellum and a skinny strip of the blue and white at the top to kind of balance it out. 
the um, triangle paper with the gold foil is Teresa Collins Ombre from Nine and Company. And the floral one is Teresa Collins, also from Nine and Company. It's called Flowers. And I think that's it because yeah, it's, it's double sided. So those are the papers that I used. And then the awesome, of course, is from the 12 by 12. Now, here's where I'm taking uh, all those floral pieces from the 6x12 chipboard, and I just put them on some wax paper to so I can move them around, and then I can just stick them back. So I'm going to, I like the placement of where the photograph and everything is, so I'm just going to go ahead and adhere that down, because I haven't, I haven't adhered anything to the white cardstock yet. So I'm going to do that. For, do you find it hard to get diagonal paper straight? It's something about, it like tricks your eye into thinking that it's straight when it's really not because it looks straight and then I'll walk away from the layout and come back and I'm like, whoa, that is way wonky. I think it's like some kind of illusion, oh, yeah, illusion with the, with the stripes or something. I don't know. Or maybe it's just me. <laughs> Y'all might be thinking, I don't know what you're talking about. Um, so now I'm going to adhere all these little strips. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a couple of rows of like tape runner adhesive because I know that it's going to be, you know, about that thick. And then for the really, really skinny strips, I'm going to get some Tombow um, Mono. Because it's the only, I was going to use my Tiny Attacher, but I didn't really want staples on this because they're silver and there's gold in the layout. And I really didn't want to. Um, I, I do, and I have before, and I think I have a video on it. Um, you can change your staples and make them gold. Um, if I don't have a video... I'll look. I'll, I'll make another one. I used to have one. I'm not sure if it was one of the videos that got deleted. But it's really easy. You just take like a Krylon pen or something. Color the staples before you put them into your um, tiny attacher. And then you have gold staples. So here I'm using some of that um, Tombow glue. And I didn't take a picture. I really liked how I had them arranged before because... They were kind of haphazard. They weren't perfectly straight, and they were kind of layered on top of each other. They looked really good, and they just kind of fell that way. And I wish I would have taken a picture because I really liked the way they looked. And when I put them back on, my, like, OCD took over, and they ended up really straight and, like, perfect. And I kind of liked them a little bit imperfect. So you can see I'm using a pretty wide strip of vellum here, and that stuff is slippery. And when you put it on with the wet glue, it slides around a whole bunch. So I had a little bit of trouble keeping it straight and lined up, but I managed in the end. And then I'm going to put a very, very, very thin strip of glue down to put that blue and white piece down. Because I didn't want to... <coughs> I'm so sorry. I'm still battling this cough and summer cold. But what I was saying is I didn't want to put too much weight on the top with the paper. So I, but I wanted it to have something up there, so that's why I used that really, really thin strip. So now I'm just going to take some of these um, chipboard floral embellishments, and this one kind of looks like a corner, so it's kind of perfect to put right here. And this, I think that this layout is really different for me. Um, so far it's not, with the papers on the top and the bottom and the layering and stuff, but these chipboard pieces and using what looks like it's all the same collection because it I think it really does look like it's all the same collection it is different for me because I usually mix it up a lot and don't use things that are so coordinated but I really love the way that it turned out and I think that um there's something to be said for you know sticking with things that are all the same like I normally wouldn't use two floral chipboard embellishments on one layout but I really like it it's it's kind of a clean and simple look to me. Um, I know that it's really not because there's a lot of layering and there's a lot of embellishments, but um, I don't know. I think it looks different than my layouts normally do, but there's something about it that I really, really like. And had I not had this kit, I would have never done something like this. So that's what I just love about working with kits. Um, I thought about putting that little something in the corner, and I didn't. Well, I do, but not that not that big chipboard piece. Um, I'm going to take this chipboard. This Nine and Company chipboard is awesome. I might have to get another pack of this because I have a feeling I'm not going to have any left by the end of my 
month of projects because I'm flying through it pretty quickly and I'd like to have some for my own stash. It's pretty awesome. And it, I would have, I honestly, I don't think I would have ever noticed it, you know, on my own, but I really, really love it. So I'm going to put this green arrow up. No, am I? I put it down there at the bottom. I knew I used it. I just couldn't remember where I put it. And then I had already put the gold one. And I'm going to use this um, tab sticker from the My Mind's Eye sticker sheet. Just put these little hearts at the top. And let's see. I think I'm looking for some more embellishments. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? Uh, I can't remember what I do next. Oh, I also put a little, um, there's a, like a border um, chipboard on that from the My Mind's Eye, and I just cut a little piece of it, and I put this little tiny floral embellishment from that chipboard up in the top right-hand corner. So I'm going to go ahead and tell you about this picture really quickly while I'm finishing up this layout. This, that picture, in, I don't, I don't, it's really small on my screen, but you might be able to see it better when you watch this video full screen, is a picture of a dogwood tree. And in the south, where I live, there are very few dogwood trees left for some reason. Um, there's like, they, for a long time, they got this like, um, kind of like white infection thing on the, on the trunks of them that like killed them all off or something. I don't know. Something like that happened. But anyways, um, my husband and I thought that the dogwood tree was dead and we were, we had totally planned on cutting it down and putting a citrus tree there, like a lemon or a lime tree or something. And we live in my grandmother's old house. So she had loved that dogwood tree. And I, I felt horrible about it. I was like, I can't believe this, you know, it died and it's so sad. And I loved the tree. And so we kind of cut it back and, um, you know, thought, well, we'll let it go through the winter and see what happens. And it was one of the very first things to bloom in our yard this spring. And we were so excited that it came back to life. And because it did not look good. It looked like it was on its last leg so it just all of a sudden and it hadn't bloomed like that in like two or three years it's just been like twigs for like two or three years no leaves at all and then all of a sudden it's just decided to get full of leaves and and blooms and everything and so obviously we did not cut it down and it was just really exciting because it was the first year that we've lived here since you know my grandmother passed away and um I don't know it's kind of cool like all of a sudden, it's she's you know no longer with us, and it's our first year here, and the tree blooms. Take from that what you will, but I think it's a I think it's something really neat. So I had put down this little remember sticker, and then I decided that I didn't like that there. So what I'm going to do is take this alphabet, and another reason why I used the craft paper because I knew I wanted to use this kind of craft looking wood grain alphabet, and um to, and I spelled out I just wrote out dogwood tree because I have the awesome down at the bottom. And also while I was jibber jabbering, I used one of the heart, gold hearts from the My Mind's Eye metal um, embellishments and also one of the arrows um, on top of the other arrow in the left corner of that picture. So I'm just spelling out dogwood tree here. And then I decided that it needed a little bit of mist and I like never use green mist, but I have like five different colors of green. So I ran over to where I keep my mist and I, um, got a couple of my greens and I can't remember if I kept it in the video or not, but I'm going to test them out just to see which one I want to use because I'm not sure which one works. I have little labels that I made on the top a long time ago, but I don't know. They're not super accurate when you, when you spray them, they are, but when you dab, when you like do droplets, the color's a lot more intense. So those like guides that I put on the top of my bottles only work if you spray it. So I had to test them out and see which green I wanted to use. And then I'm also going to use some of the Heidi Swap Gold LeMay, which is like my all-time favorite mist. So that is going to finish up the layout after I do my little splatters here. And I'll have some close-up pictures for you. And if you haven't seen October's kit, OMG. It just gets better and better. I mean, I'm going to be on this design team for as long as they will have me because... And even after that, I will be a hip kit club member because if they just keep getting better and better like this, I'm telling you, if you're on a budget or you want to put yourself on a budget, 
all you need is the hip kits because you will get all the new stuff. You wait to see next month. It is full of stuff I didn't even know was coming out. I couldn't even put it. I was like, what is that? Awesomeness. So anyways, thanks guys so much for watching and let me know how you're coming along with your kits this month. Um, and remember, if you subscribe, use the code CraftingKate and you'll get a free pattern paper add-on. Thanks again for watching and y'all hope y'all had a great weekend.